Welcome from an topic. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Liverpool career mode on the channel. On the screen now you can see the career objectives. If you watched the first episode, you would have already seen this. And these are the fan objectives. You guys commented your own objectives that you would like me to obtain within this career. And this is it on the screen. So we would need to accomplish these tasks in order to succeed in the career mode. But with that said, let's begin the episode. I want you guys to be involved in this career mode a lot. So I want to show you almost everything I do behind the scenes. And we just go into a training session. This is the one I'm using right now. We put in tactical in the last slot to maximize it because we need chemistry. It's the beginning of the career mode. Players are on low chemistry right now. So we need them to be the highest as possible. We also want to sign a partnership or a sponsorship rather for the most money possible towards transfers. And interestingly enough, if you guys know scout reports, there are some players who come pre-scouted and they have Bruno Fernandes and Rashford. Why would you why would you have United players? But we'll remove them. And these three players, um, Liverpool are actually interested in them in real life. Barella and Rice. Mm, not so sure of Fernandes, but these two will shortlist them for now. And while we're at it, we'll also um, shortlist a couple of players who are actually interested. Bellingham is the top player right now, so we have no choice but to shortlist him. And we have also Kavac Skelia, who's been interested well, Liverpool are firing up some interest in him. Apparently, he could join in January. Who knows? And also, we have to have a backup for Trent. And we will look for these guys. Someone who could be realistic enough, but not bust our budgets. Um, if we look at Lema, he's actually interested in real life. Not as a right back though, as a centre mid. But apparently, he could play right back in this game. So we would shortlist him. Why not? It doesn't harm anyone. But yeah, this list is not looking so good, if I'm being honest. It's mostly older and expensive players. We'll also look at Pavard. I think I've seen an article of him um, interested in Liverpool or whatnot. So yeah, we'll shortlist those two guys and we'll see if we can put in a bid for them later on. But we'll begin our um, pre-season tour here. It's not actually pre-season, it's just a friendly or whatever. You know what I mean. But let's get into this match and I'll see you on the other side. A great first outing, a 3-1 win in our first match, not our official match but a friendly and it's honestly not so bad considering our chemistry is quite low and it was a good performance overall. We didn't have much possession but we dominated shots and all that stuff so for me that's a great first match. We'll also enter this preseason competition for a chance to get a little more money and we'll choose the one in the middle. I feel like it is the most challenging one to test ourselves ahead of the season. So we'll go with that. Although it's a little bit less money, we'll go with that one. And here we have Manchester City interested in Barella. Doesn't really bother us. They can take him. But we have Muzlioski getting a loan offer and we'll send him out on loan. Hopefully he can get some game time there. We have a second preseason game, the first of the preseason competition against Big Barcelona. This is a big match to test if we're good enough for the season. So let's um, let's get ahead with this match, and I'll see you once it's over. And this match just shows that we have a big future ahead in this career mode. Two nil against Barca. With not even really our strongest team, to be honest. You can look, we brought on some Elliot and we brought on Simicas and we still managed to beat them. That is great news. The future is bright for us. So I accepted a couple loans off camera, nothing too big, but we've received an offer here for Matip. Big Joel Matip, our coconut king. And it's a tempting offer, it's over his valuation, but honestly, we can't give him up. He is our Joel Matip. He needs to stay and retire at this club. We'll also send our Bobby Clark on loan. He's one for the future. This is another big match to test our strength. And yeah, I'll see you once the match is over. And this is the Liverpool I know. The Liverpool who could beat any team in the world. What a result. A big and massive result. Jota and Nunez on the score sheet. Some youngsters coming off the bench and putting in a shift. Great work from us this preseason is looking promising. Some offers have come in for our transfer listed Nabi Keita. Some good 
not quite his valuation but will try to get the highest offer and 22 million from Valencia is the highest goes and we will accept that we want him out anyways nice money coming in for us and the very next day we get an offer for big Nat Phillips someone I really like in real life but he has to go in the game um, and this is the max we'll get 5 million we'll send him to Genk in Belgium I think that's where he's gonna get the most playing time so we'll send him there hopefully he succeeds and grows quite a lot maybe we can buy him back who knows this is the final match of this preseason competition or this preseason tour whatever it's called and Diaz is injured for a while so we'll take him out and we'll put in Jota unfortunately he has poor chemistry I just realized that's so unfortunate because he's a brilliant player and soccer manager so that's that's going to be really tough well, anyways, I'll see you at the end of the match, as usual. A very dominating and convincing win. And this preseason tour has shown me that we are ready for the season. And I can see great things happening, guys. I can imagine us winning the quadruple in the first season. But that was a great match. Shout out to the boys on the pitch. That's great. I haven't shown the last couple but we've got a training session here that will run and as you can see Arthur Melo is quite is growing quite well and I think he could be one a player we can make permanent after his loan hopefully that won't be too expensive but yeah we've got another offer for Matip wow it seems like he's wanted by everyone and 37 million I don't think we're gonna accept it although the money is nice and we will never get an offer like that again come on he's Joel Matip we cannot let him go we have a final friendly match against Sevilla again. This is going to be our last one and we'll play just some of the backup guys just so they can get their chemistry up and hopefully some match growth, I hope. Um, but yeah, we don't want to risk any injuries going into the next game because it is a big match. The Community Shield versus Manchester City, a first trophy for us is on the line. Come on, we have to give it a go. Let's see how it goes. See you guys at the end of the match. You cannot make this up. Soccer manager is so realistic. So in the first half, we were winning 1-0. As you can see, Elliot opened the score. And in the second half, I brought on Adrian. And then magically, Sofia just scored two goals. I think Adrian is a problem, guys. We might have to sell him. <laughs> He's a big, big problem. The biggest match of our Liverpool career mode so far is up. And players are concerned. This is not looking good, but... I feel like we can make some magic work. So instead of quick sim in this match, we'll actually play in a 3D mode. But first, I need to put in my first 11. And yeah, we'll get into the match once I've done that. So this is a team I've opted for. I feel like this is our strongest 11 and it will give us the highest chance of beating Manchester City, hopefully. So let's begin the match. And here we go, the ball is kicked off, the match begins, I'm looking forward to it, I expect complete Liverpool domination, judging by our preseason and wait, Joel, is that Joel Matip on corners? What the hell is happening? We need to change that, but yeah, <laughs> we'll change that and put some suitable corner takers, not Joel Matip for sure, and Fabinho is the penalty taker. Matip is also our captain, oh my god, there's so much things wrong, thankfully I saw that early on, yeah, so we'll just tweak that and hopefully we get to win today and here we have a highlight Fabinho passes the ball to Salah who loses it to Aki who wins it back who loses it again who wins it back and drops Aki then he sends Laporte to the shop and he sends the ball right in Courtois hands how the why would Manchester City sign Courtois anyways another highlight here this time for Manchester City they're playing it out of the back no pressing from Salah there and this is not like Liverpool everyone's just what what's happening okay that was a poor tackle by Nunes and that's a great ball over the top Matip and how how did this guy manage to score that goal we'll have to look at the replay here in a second and he celebrated shut up bro you didn't win the world cup 
okay he receives the ball there that's a great ball he goes wide onto his left foot and he just bangs it how has Allison not saved that another angle here he receives the ball great that was great pass by the way and then Matip is just clueless and then Allison is in no man's land I'm absolutely devastated that we conceded that other than the Haaland goal it's been a completely quiet first half and I think we'll just make one change we'll put Joel Matip as the stopper hopefully he could stop Haaland this time and we'll get into the second half hopefully I'm seeing a comeback Salah we need you on your a-game Nunez as well okay a highlight now and the second half has just begun we won the ball from Haaland it's Firmino back to Fabinho and it's back to Joel Matip who passes it to Virgil van Dijk and what a ball what a control what a shot what a goal Darwin Nunez we got one back haters come outside let's go this is just classic Liverpool classic van Dijk a great long ball catches Manchester City defense sleeping Diaz cannot believe it Van Dijk with his weak foot as well what a strike brilliant goal we've got one back it's 1-1 one, one. let's go okay we've got another highlight shortly after and we're playing it passing it Robertson sends him to the shop will he cross it no he'll just give the ball to Rodri and Rodri will just give the ball to Fabinho and then Fabinho to Firmino who takes a strike and it's a goal. Come on, what a comeback. My second half talk is underrated. I told the boys go out there and win it and they've done exactly that. What a celebration, what a goal. Robertson there should have crossed it in but um, poor pass from the Manchester City player and that great goal. Courtois, he's like 7 foot 8. He should be saving that to be honest. But I'll never be disappointed with Firmino. What a player he is. What a goal. It's 2-1 for us. It's approaching the 70th minute and I'm going to make a couple subs. I'm going to take off Diaz who's been underperforming. And although the match rating says otherwise, Matip has caused the goal. So we're going to take him off. Not much happening in this match and as we approach the final 10 minutes, I'm going to make a more defensive sub, take off Thiago and put on Henderson and also bring on Javier to get some minutes. And we're going to change the role of... Um, Jordan Henderson to defensive midfielder hopefully we don't concede a goal the 92nd minute Allison clears the ball the match could be over anytime now and Robertson loses the ball to Kevin De Bruyne and he ends Van Dijk's life and he's on a run and it's taken oh my god it's a goal Erling Haaland again equalizes in the final seconds of the game I'm speechless. This defending is out of this world. I have nothing to say. And there has to be something wrong with this game because this is offside. Haaland is in an offside position, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. And they probably might have a next chance now or no, that's full time. Into extra time we go. Not much I've gone on so far, but Manchester City has gotten a chance here and it's Jack Grish passing it back to Ruben Diaz and Henderson, is he going to win the ball? I guess not, he just does some weird tackling and that's a great ball and Holland just goes through Konate. I have no words to speak, this guy has scored a hat-trick and he celebrates like a piece of... Oh my god, you see the replay here, Henderson really should be taking that ball off Diaz. Konate should be doing more there and how has that's an unbelievable goal how has he scored that first of all and how has Allison not saved it cannot believe come on boys we need to fire up and since that last Holland goal we have done absolutely nothing to make a comeback and Manchester City won the game and there seemed to be a bug in my game here there is no celebration or whatnot and that is a disappointing match. They've dominated possession as City always do. We've dominated shots and everything and I'm disappointed in this loss. Disappointed in the boys. The first trophy was on the line and we did not capitalize. That's a horrible way to begin this career mode. But that caps off this episode. It was a long one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it all the way through. 
and next episode we'll be getting into signings and we'll be strengthening the team so look forward to that see you guys next time peace out take care